Hello and welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we're covering the junior cycle maths paper of the 2022 and we're on to question four. So let's have a quick look at the exam question. So the first part, we're just going to work out um, the missing link here given the perimeter. So that's pretty straightforward. On to part B now where we're going to look at a triangle with algebra. So that means we're going to have to sum up the three sides and get a result in algebra. So again, just uh, adding your x's there is pretty straightforward. And on to part two, B, part two now, we give, we're give we given the value 24. We set it equal to the perimeter, which is summed up in algebra, and we solve for x. So let's work out those parts to start off with. So you can see there we're given 8. Okay, so the 8 is the total. So 8 minus 2 minus 3.5. Use your calculator, just be careful, get this right. Uh, it's going to be 2.5. So that's this, the, the base of triangle A. All right, so that's the first part. So on to part B now, we're going to to sum up Okay, the, the three sides together to get the perimeter. So we say the perimeter of B is equal to 3 plus 2x plus 2x plus 1. Very straightforward. And we're going to get 4x when we add the 2x and 2x and we have a 4. So very straightforward there. So let's see what happens. So that perimeter now, PB, is equal to 24. So we got to solve for X. Got to solve. Okay, so people like solving puzzles. Okay, now we're solving algebra. So we have 24 is equal to 4X plus 4. So we're going to, um, we're going to just bring the 4 over now and we're going to go 4x, so swap them back to front, if you know what I mean. So we're going to get 24 in, and then negative 4, because it's as if I brought it over here, and then you change the sign then, you see. So 4x is equal to 20, and you guessed it, simple maths. Divide 4 onto both sides, and we'll get a result of x is equal to 5. So very straightforward so far. All right, so let's go on to the second section in question four. So in part C, we're given some information that the progression of the perimeters in a series is linear. So that means if we have the first and the second, we can then add the same difference on to the second value to get the third okay so we got to do that um, and then with that result then you see we'll have the perimeter for the third triangle and then we're going to solve for y so it's actually we're going to have like a y squared there actually okay so let's put all that together so we could just go back to the start okay so perimeter a was eight so perimeter E, that's our first term in our series. Perimeter B is 24, okay? And then if it's linear, okay, the difference D is equal to a constant. Okay, so we can go 24 minus 8 is equal to 16. Okay, so we need to go to the third term now, so we're going to like plus 16. And when we plus 16 to 24, we will get 40. So that is the perimeter of the uh, triangle C. Okay, so let's go down to part B because we need to solve for y. Okay, so we have 5y squared and y squared plus 3. So Let's see how it works out. Maybe it's going to be, we have a y squared. So we're going to have to put all of this together. So we'll go the sum of the three sides, just like before with the perimeter 
in part b. So we have 5 plus y squared plus y squared plus 3. Okay, and check that, and it, everything looks fine. So that will give 2y squared for these two, and then we have a 3 and 5 is an 8. Okay, so that sum now can be equated to the result up here, you know. So let's get that one. So we have the 40. So bring it down. And now we can balance our equation and we can solve for y. So we're going to go 2y squared. Just switch it back to front. It's easier in this side. And then we go 40. Okay, we have an 8 over here. So let's bring our 8 over. And we get 2x, 2y squared. Okay, it's a y there and 40. And minus 8 now. So it's like we're subtracting 8 from both sides. So if we go 8 minus 8. And we go minus 8 on the other side. Now it's bad. So we're going to get 2y squared is equal to 32. So we're nearly there. So we have to divide both sides by 2. Let's work that out. So divide by 2 and divide by 2. So we're going to get 16 is equal to y squared. So um, we want to get the square root now because what number multiplies by itself to give a result of 16 when it's 4, isn't it? So y is equal to the square root of 16. We could get negative 4 as well as a possible result because it's a linked, okay, we're going to choose a positive because they would be rational. So y is equal to plus or minus 4. And then y is equal to plus 4 because it's the real value. Okay, so that's really awesome. Now we've worked through the algebra question. Students really like these questions with the triangles and solving them. So a big thanks to everybody for subscribing and liking the channel.